Next up, we got one of the comedic goats, Patrice O. Mother Effin Neal. And here he is talking about women in his comedic stand up set. Let's cut straight to it. Came up off a dollar, so I'm thankful. You know I gotta get it to the bank. Close facts, bro. Facts, bro. These are all facts. Big twos, big checks, big racks, bro. Hey y'all, what's good with you? Welcome back to the channel, Wagwan Gang Gang. This is a part of my series, my channel, where I just react to comedy. You just come chill with me as we laugh together. Come kind of like get chilling with the homie. As we laugh together at funny comedic stand-ups, comedic setups, pretty much. Uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. <laughs> Definitely hit them folks on that subscribe button. Millie Rock on that like button. Whoa, Millie Rock, whoa, whoa. Don't watch that. <laughs> Millie Rock, I appreciate you. Let's cut straight to it. Let's enjoy some comedy. I guarantee your day is about to be a lot more enjoyable after this video. So let's dive into it. Oh, on this channel, we react to comedy. We provide you more information about addiction related stuff. I've done some skincare videos. Every single video, my goal is to inspire you to learn something new and with the information and take action upon them but also be entertained and laugh, right? So that's my promise to you. So subscribe and take our relationship further. <laughs> we don't want to hurt you. If you give a lie detector test to a man and a woman mm. and ask them the same questions, man, we would pass them both up to a point where it's like, hey, ask a woman, you love your man, you love your family, you love your home, you love what you built, yep. All right, you see Brad Pitt or Denzel Washington or whatever standing there, would you risk everything you built with your man just to sleep with him? And women, look, they go, nah, I wouldn't. And they, they'll pass the test. They be like, eh, you know, I, I, it's, they look good, but I wouldn't. Ask guys the same thing, you know, boom. Love your woman, the kids, the house, yeah. All right, you, you see that girl passed out behind the dumpster? <laughs> Could you risk everything for a passed out woman behind a dumpster? <laughs> I don't want to, but look at her with garbage on. She looks so cute with garbage on. We're like, uh, I'm trying to like make it so women just like understand a little bit of like just to sympathize. It's like we're, we're like sport fishermen. This is what I'm saying. Men like to fish. And sport fishing is different from catching fish for food. You just get it, you get it, you catch it, and you, you know, you, you show your friends. Because you want them to know that you, you can catch fish. You take a couple of pictures so you can show people the fish that you have the ability to catch. And then you release it back into the water. But a lot of women in here, you have boyfriends or husbands, you a fish that jump back on the boat. <laughs> and just was like flapping, looking at me like. Hi, I was wondering if you're gonna be fishing here again next week like that. <laughs> Yeah, for other fish. Get off my boat. <laughs> Is that how you treat all the fish? You're like, oh, God damn. Nope, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're the last fish I ever wanted to be with. Now you're stuck. You're stuck with the last fish who was loving you and fighting hard to be on your boat. Yeah. Then she got comfortable, and now she, instead of doing this, she's like, so... We've been together for like... <laughs> A year now, why do you still have a boat? You'd be like. <laughs> so what's he trying to say? I can't catch fish no more? Why do you need to catch a fish? <laughs> because if I lose my ability to catch fish, then you're not going to find me sexy no more. So you got to smell fish on me so that you know I can catch fish so you can act right. <laughs> What's your name? Dave, what's your name? How are you? Hi, this is Truth. 
when you call Dave from another room, Dave, immediately, <laughs> he goes, ugh. <laughs> what the, f what does she want? Dave, you want to hear what happened to me today? He'd be like, oh, oh, oh. Ladies, let's discuss, hey, look, let's discuss harassment for a second. Why can't I harass you? Sometimes, sometimes. I can never harass you, never. And I'm not talking about, like, I'm talking just. At the job, it's unfair that I can't harass you at the workplace, like. You look at how you looking. And I can't just, a little something that has to do, like you gotta be careful just to say, hey, you look beautiful today. Mm -hmm. That's how messed up the game is. Yeah, yeah. I think you should be able to comment on any part of the body <laughs> that you see. If you, I'm serious. What's your name? What's your name? Jeannie. Now Jeannie, no disrespect, but if I work with you, I should be able to walk in and go, oh, Jeannie, beautiful uh, titty meat you have there. <laughs> and, because I see that, but whatever the scientific term is, I'm um, looking at Mr. F a 4.9 grade point average. What's the, what's the science term for uh, the titty meat? What's the actual, and it's not the cleavage. I mean, the cleavage is the space in the middle. I'm talking about the meat. The, the meat, the titty part. And I'm not being foul, just, you know, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can go through the rest of the day without pretending that I don't see. Which, which, you understand what I'm saying? I mean, let's work out a deal. Don't get me fired <laughs> having women work with men right is like having a grizzly bear work with salmon <laughs> dipped in honey like so <laughs> now you dip the salmon in the honey right grizzly bears and the salmon get to walk through comfortable with honey and fish and good morning grizzly bears <laughs> What's up, fish? Oh my God, human resources. The grizzly bear just did grizzly bear. Stuff. So, <laughs> so, like I can't even go, hey, good morning. Good morning, fish. Good morning. Oh, I can't touch it. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, let me just get a little bit of that fish. A little bit. <laughs> Get that honey, oh my god. <laughs> fish and honey, man, that's my favorite. Usually I kill fish and eat them and stuff, but I just wanted to just rub that, rub a little bit of that. <laughs> god damn. That's oppressive, like you shouldn't even. <laughs> that's so oppressive. <laughs> and there's cameras everywhere, you can't do like weird stuff behind a back, like. Why would it be disrespectful if I said, what's your name? Terrell. If I go, hey, Terrell, we work together. And I go, Terrell, hey, do me a favor. Let me know when you're getting up to go to the bathroom so I can sniff your chair. <laughs> That's disrespectful because it's sexual, but that keeps me from being... Like, I think, look, I 
I think there should be a holiday uh, for lack of a better word, harassment day, but not, that sounds whatever, but I mean a day where I get to be myself, you know? find out, like because, and this is why it should be harassment day, because women get to be inappropriate sexually all the time. You get to be inappropriate, and when I say inappropriate, I mean say hello to me too close. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Or some weird massage because you mm. think we're friends and you, good morning, a little kiss, and he's just like, oh, oh, boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. And you think in your head, man, I wonder if I could, I wonder if I don't you know. But harassment day allows you to be able to ask. All year, I say the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. <laughs> And it's, and it's a beautiful day, flowers and everything. You buy flowers, you just real cool, you walk up, you're respectful, you say, hey, how are you? You know, good afternoon, Terrell, happy harassment day. <laughs> and you just like say, listen, I was wondering all year if you would suck my d in a boom pot. No, thank you. I'm not. And you be like, I'm. Thank you. Keep the flowers. I just thought <laughs> I made a mistake. I thought you was a hoe all year. I was confused. I thought you was a hoe, but you're not. Let me say this, man. I, I'm a what they. I don't know what the term is for uh, extreme animal lover. Like I, I get sick when I see animals suffering, and I know that's contrary to popular belief somehow. Somehow it's spread out that uh, black people, we, like, we hate animals. <laughs> like we can't stand dogs and cats and I, I don't get it. That's the news doing that. Because they only show dudes that hate dogs. Like when the Vic stuff was happening. What do you think of Michael Vick and the dog? They just show, every dude they show is like, mm, dogs, man, dogs. I'll, <laughs> I'll drown a dog in a bucket right now. We give me a dog. <laughs> Where's a dog at? I'll kill him. I hate dogs. I hate dogs. And then they'll show a white woman like tongue kissing a dog in the mouth. Just to prove white people love dogs. And then they go back to him and he's mad. Like, look at this dirty white bitch tongue kissing. Devil. Devil bitch tongue kissing a, a jackal in the mouth. Jackals and then she's like sad. It's like it's some weird war. They always want black people, and white people to be at war, man, for some reason. How can you hate it? I don't. People who hate animals, like I, I don't. I'm not gonna go. I hate you, but it's, it'll be hard. It takes away a piece of how close we might. Be. If you go, I hate animals. Like somebody look at a baby seal and go, Oh, I can't wait to hit this mother in the face. <laughs> Baby seals all cute. What the f are you looking at, baby seal? Like, you ever see them sad animal commercials that come on like during like four in the morning during Three's Company reruns? And it catch you out of nowhere. You be watching Three's Company and then, ooh, like, and that's like it'll be a kitten and they slow motion the kitten up and the kitten, ooh. And it's a <laughs> kid got a pencil in his head. Like somebody stuck a pencil in his face. There's a pencil sticking out of his face. And they put fun facts: fifteen thousand kittens are stabbed in the head <laughs> with pencils each year. You'd be like, who is stabbing kittens in the face with pencils? Why? It's a pencil sticking out of his face. Okay, hey man, my this one is about to run out, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> that's it, bro. Hopefully you like, you laughed, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Okay, don't leave the channel. <laughs>